Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasha Allah. Koholimla, yawo, bahashim, yawo shai, bahashim, kahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of your hell, bahashim, yawo shai, to the best of their ability. Jachananawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit and, um, Hey man, even the homeless so-called white people here feel as if they had privilege over you so-called blacks, man. <laughs> Hispanics and Native Americans, you are the true Hebrew Israelites, man. And hey, you know you at the lowest of the totem pole when a homeless man can 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 say the type of shit that's in this particular uh <laughs> article right here. Well, let's get some of it. It says homeless man slammed for saying he didn't feel safe around black people. Well, I tell you, you talking about pride. Matter of fact, let's get a scripture on pride real quick. Because that's exactly what that is. Here you go. You're basically around nothing but so-called black people, obviously, in their neighborhood. So why aren't you in your neighborhood? Why aren't you amongst your, 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 your um, race of people? And I'm going to tell you now, because I, I pass these people all day long on a day-to-day -day basis. And they're standing on all four corners, and they're veterans. You'll see them with their medals on. They have their little military jacket on and shit. Some missing a leg or arm or something. But they'll have an American flag on the wheelchair and all that stuff. And you know, I sit there at them lights and I watch and see. The so-called white man don't help them people out. They're not proud of those patriots. They're not proud in, in, in saying, hey, thank you for your services, sir. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're not. Pay attention to it. I mean, I've seen it on multiple multiple occasions. So, but let's let's get pride. Ah, boy, I tell you, boy, I tell you. Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. And that's the reason why you're, you're, you're actually seeing America fall like how it's falling right now because it's a very prideful place. It, it, it's only a matter of time that that, that pride, you know, because you, you, you're being raised, risen up. You're, you're exalting yourself only to be brought down low because that's just the way that the lord created it man you're not gonna be you're not gonna go against these scriptures okay so it says um matter of fact let's go back let's just get into the story it says a white homeless man was quickly set straight after he refused to stand in line with black people because he didn't feel safe in a TikTok posted by hotspot media a black woman identified by social media user as shirley appeared to be handing out food to a line of majority black homeless people. A white homeless man standing in the line allegedly asked to be served first because he didn't feel safe among his black counterparts. Now, you know what, too, though? I can say this, too, because Jake probably was fucking him up or something like that, you know, because, hey, Jake will get down, man, and especially in a situation like that when you are pretty much homeless and you don't have anything to lose, you're going to go after the basically the weaker vessel. In, in that particular case, if you're outnumbered by race, then you're a weaker vessel, man. Straight up. So he probably really didn't feel safe like that, but he shouldn't have said what he said, though. You know, it says um, a white homeless man standing in a line allegedly asked to be served first because he didn't feel safe amongst the black counterparts. That's when Shirley appeared to step in and set the white man straight on his views. What audacity. Homeless, 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 homeless people, racist, racism, hotspot media. Okay. So let's see. Let's see, let's see if this will play. Oh, Salaki, it, it doesn't look like it's going to. This done went to a, uh, anyway, we can read it on out if it doesn't. <laughs> okay, this, uh, she said, you were responsible for you, Shirley told the man. You being the only white person in that line, we have lived that plight all of our life of being the only black person in space, not feeling protected and safe. We are not here to hear your cup of tears. Wow. Hey, that, hey you got to gotta applaud that because she's definitely right on that end. But that's that's how privileged they, they, hey, this is their kingdom. This is how you know this is their kingdom. But I'm going to tell you now, I'm telling you, pay attention. These so-called white people, they'll come and, and they'll ask you so-called blacks for money, food, because they understand that we are compassionate people. They know that we're far more compassionate than their own people. They know that they have a far better chance of getting money or a meal or water or a drink or something like that out of us as opposed to their own people because they know their people. They know how they, they are. They know that they're not going to help them out. I see this shit on a day to day basis, man, while I'm out in the suburbs and little affluent areas driving and I see them. 
Like, why aren't you stopping to help these people? These are your 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 patriots. These are your veterans. These are the ones that went to war for the country and, 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 and you know, supposedly gave you the freedoms that you so-called have to drive your big ass wagoneers, your big ass Ram trucks, your big ass Chevy Sierras and whatever the case, you know, your, your home, your home V's, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Why aren't you helping them? They, it, there's no way that they should even be on those corners. They're literally sitting there with the American flag waving off their goddamn um, um, wheelchair. And I just sit there with my windows rolled up. I'm not I'm not rolling out my window to help out no Edomites, man. OK, it says um, Shirley then called out the man for allegedly threatening to call the police because he didn't think he was being served properly. See this shit? Now, here you go. They don't even have to even do what they're doing for you. They can say that I feel safe around unsafe around you and call the police on your ass. Here you go. He's he's homeless. There's a scripture that goes off into that, too. Um, I want to say it's in the Apocrypha. Uh, let me see. Salakia. Salakia. I, I don't have the um, the, the that particular um, Bible in this particular phone, um, but it's a scripture that goes off into um, being proud and um, being poor and proud. This shit just don't go together, man. Roughly paraphrasing. How can you? I mean, that's it, that, that's actually very detestable. You're poor and you still are prideful. You should be the most humble person on the earth. Here you go. You rolling up on somebody else for help and you you threatening to call the police. You threatening. I want to be first in line because I don't feel like why don't you wait to be the last in? Why don't you wait till all the so-called black men or women or whatever be served since you don't feel safe around them and be the last? Why would you step into the line and say, I would like to be served first? See, and, and you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, I'm telling you, man, y'all better get the fuck out of the American mindset because this place is crazy. This is the mindset of these people. Even at their lowest, they feel as if they're above you, man. This is insane. <laughs> it said, let me see what else it says. Uh, okay, let me start back. It says, stand in that line. She said, she told him, stand in that line. Do the best you can. Do not come over here bullying us, she, she added. Shirley then called out the man for allegedly threatening to call the police because he didn't think he was served, being served properly. I find it quite frankly selfish and rude. And I have nothing else to say, Shirley said. If you call the police on those people, I hope this community comes for you. That's rude. <laughs> wow. We're not here for you. We are here for all of you. And you're making it about you. Walk away, the woman concluded her pugment speech. Let's check out the comments. Okay, this person says, from a race-based publication, I'm sure you report on people who are bigoted towards whites, right? What did you report on Kyrie? And his anti simp See, this is what I'm saying. They don't want to stick to the point of, why can't you just stick to the story? Why can't you say, man, that's fucked up? Nope, you go back months, a year ago, to get to talking about Kyrie for um, posting a link to, to, to um, a, a documentary. See, but this is how they think. I'm telling you, man. Semitic racism is as pre prevalent as nationalism. See this? What what is this what is what is this this anti sim shit got to do with this story? This is how these people think. Says, "Why isn't he over there with the whites as you put it?" Yeah, why isn't he? Slam for speaking up his feelings. He has the right to feel any kind of way, but to want to go to the front of the line is wrong. But if he's scared, then he's scared. But why the fuck didn't he just stay away? Why don't you go and beg your, your white counterparts? Why don't you go to your neighborhood and, 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 and run up on your on, on so-called white people and say, hey, I'm hungry. Can you please help me with something to eat? You know why he's not going to do that? You know why he's around the so-called blacks? Because he knows that he can eat around them. He knows that he, you know, he, he's, he's basically taking an advantage here. Because I'm telling you now, so-called white people don't care about so-called white people. And this is why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, stop marching and beating your feet for rights from people that don't care about their own people. They don't care about their own people, man. And they're going to always have that perpetual hatred for, for you. Because like I said, again, I already knew the comments was going to go in. The so-called white people, they're not going to be like, oh, well, that's so wrong of him. You motherfucker want to jump to the front of the line and then you talking about calling the police for not being served properly for some shit that somebody don't even have to even give you. They don't even have to come there and set up. They could easily roll up and say, hey, man, we made some plates. Hey, you, 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 you and you. You hungry? And left his ass out. 
You don't have to pull up and 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 and, and be making no plates or no 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 soup truck or nothing like that. The plates and sandwiches or whatever could already be made. They can just give them to who they want to and leave his ass out. And there's no line for you to even form to even get to the front. It's your wicked ass, man. <laughs> this is crazy. This person says either keep it to yourself or simply go and eat someplace else. Hey, I agree with that. This person responded, says, no, he doesn't have to. He said what he said and apparently mean it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Why are you running? If you got that much pride, you should have a damn job and not even be asking nobody for nothing. You should have you a damn place to live with a refrigerator and, and with a stove and with some pots and pans where you can go and cook what you want to cook when you want to cook it. And then you'll feel safe and within your own four walls. Because if you're feeling that way, why are you there? Why are you there? You don't feel safe around the so-called black people, but you are, but you the first in line. And then you talking shit to the very black people that's about to give you something to eat. And then you see these comments. I'm telling you, these people. Let me get this real quick, man. This shit is amazing, but it, it's not surprising. Because we understand the scriptures, man. Instead, uh, let's go into Ezekiel real quick. 35 and 5. The comments, the comments say everything. We can understand uh, if this motherfucker might be out of his mind. He just might be out there just done stuck a needle too many in his damn arm or something like that. We can get that he might say something stupid as hell. But we're talking about rational people in the comment board sticking up for this shit. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that's going off into that perpetual hatred that the so-called white man has for us as a people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm telling you now, if that if that's a that's a a, a, a trait of a of, of pure, straight downright hatred when you can walk up. Being at the lowest of the fucking totem pole, you nasty, stank, you know. And you know, um, um, so-called white people when they're homeless, they don't, they, they don't, it don't fare well with them as, as as well as it does with so-called blacks because their skin and them being out in the sun and in the elements and not having no melanin, it takes a different form on them. They smell a different type of way. They look a different type of way. Sores and bugs and shit. You know, all over, you know, and, and, and they have the type of hair where they can attract certain types of things, man, that so-called blacks just don't. And then you have the audacity to run up to the front of the line and say, feed me first. And, and, and that's that Esau spirit. What's that? Um, Feed me uh, uh that, that red, some of that red pottage. What's that in Genesis? That's how you know who this man is. This is how we know that this man, his biblical name is Esau Edom. This is the way that the Edomites get down. They're not so-called white people. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. And, you know, this is an example of how far they've fallen as a people, too, because their kingdom is being being um, downtrodden now. Their kingdom is, has fallen on them. Shit is crazy, bro. I'm looking at this shit like, are you serious? But it's not surprising. It is not surprising at all. Let me see. Uh, here we go right here. Genesis 25 and 29. And Jacob sawed pottage. So the so-called black man is sitting here cooking and Esau came from the field and he was faint. Now here go the so-called white man. He comes in. He's hungry as hell. Check him out. This is the whole reason why he he sold his birthright for some for some food that wasn't even done. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, sell me this this day thy birthright. He said, you so damn basically he like you that base. Then why don't you give up that birthright? Because you really don't deserve it. And look at what he says. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. And then you'll have these so-called white people. They'll be like, Well, uh, and, and Jacob, he, he, he sneakily took it from him. He stole it from him. No, you can clearly see right here in the scriptures that he sold it to him. Because he was impatient. This is the microwave man. This is the man that gave you the drive through because they're not capable of waiting on the damn food to get done. They're not. They're, they're, these are some very impatient people. They're not patient, man. You see what I'm saying? He jumps to the front of the line. He jumps to the front of the line. 
and then demanding shit. <laughs> man, let me get up out of here, man. I ain't mean to keep that long. I would have liked to have seen the video, the TikTok. Let's see here. Is this nope? It keep going to the same old thing. But that is in fucking sane, bro. Let me see. Mm, 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 mm. A homeless man refused uh -oh. to stand with black. Uh oh, my bad. So lucky. What happened? Oh, yeah. We have lived that plight all our life of being the only black person in the space not feeling protected and safe. We are not here to hear your cup of tears. Stand in that line to the best you can. Do not come over here bullying us. And the fact that you would pick up that phone and call the police because you think you're not being served properly and f*** it up for the rest of these people in the heat, I find it quite frankly selfish and rude. And I have nothing else to say. If you call those police on those people, I hope this community comes for you. That's rude. We are not here for you. We're here for all of you. And you're making it about you. Walk away. Did he realize that he asked for food from a black woman? I don't think he did. See? See? But, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We understand what's going on here, man. We understand it. We, we get it, man. This is why we try and tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to come out of this place. Let's get that real quick. Because this is going to continue on going on until we're out of here. You know, if, the, if a homeless so-called white man can think like this, what you think the ones that's, 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 that's above you at the job think like? Especially the elite. We ain't gonna even go that far. But think about the motherfucker that weren't right with you. He actually has a house. He actually got a job. He's actually taking care of his business himself. You see what I'm saying? What up, though, bro? That shit is insane. <laughs> this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. This is why you gotta rise up. If I'm, I'm telling you, think about the Just think about this shit for a second. And y'all going out and voting for a motherfucker like Joe Biden or or a, a Trump or any of these so-called white men. Why would you go out? What, what do you think they really feel about you? If the if a homeless nigga scratching his ass, scratching on through his hair, probably got lice, you know, the hair done locked up, looking nasty as hell, smelling like a goddamn dumpster. And he's got enough. He's got enough pride within himself to run up and tell a so-called black woman that's trying to feed the neighborhood that he needs to be served first, <laughs> and then threatens to call the police because he's feeling like the service that she don't even have to provide to him. It's not like you know it didn't say whether or not she's with a state agency or something like that. You know, because normally when people are out there and they're doing stuff like that, you know, sometimes they are, but a lot of the times they're doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. And here you go. I'm going to call the police on you because I'm not being served properly as if he went and sat down at a motherfucking Chris Roof or something, man. As if he went and sat down at Benny Hanna's, man. And, 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 and you know, or somewhere the state just went, went temperature right. You know, whatever, man. Like, are you serious? So if he can do something like that, just think about the upper echelon of these clowns, man. You know, how if it because that was a look down. He's at the bottom looking down. On oh, niggas. So think about the ones that's actually up, man. On top, man, looking down on you niggas, man. Y'all better get it together. I'm telling you, the only only thing that we can do is repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shah. That's the only chance we got against this man. Because this man, see the way that that guy was acting, this homeless man was acting? This whole shit is spoiling and crumbling. That's how the upper elite gonna start to act. That's why when you go off into Revelation 12 and 12, it says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So these ones that's at the top, they know that they have but a short time. They're about to start acting a goddamn fool. And they have the actual power to fuck you up. It just so happened this guy, he don't have no power. But he's still standing there talking as if he do. I'm telling you, man, y'all better wake up, man. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. The reason why we do these lessons is to let you know to repent because you are the children of Israel. And these people are about to go into full, straightforward mode as trying to perpetually enslave your ass.
Because they don't care nothing about their own people. They're going to enslave them too. But they really want you. Because they understand that you are the children of the Lord, man. They understand that you are the chosen people. They understand that. And they want that birthright back. See, that birthright that he sold, they want it back. And they're trying their hardest to do everything that they can to get it back. So, hey, man, be, keep your head on the swivel. We definitely in the last days. And these people have fallen. You know they've fallen. This is just pathetic, man. Because I've seen them in the neighborhood. I've, I've, it surprises me. I, and I've asked them. Like, why are you in the so-called black people neighborhoods? You know what I'm saying? Um, asking for money. I'm talking about literally and nothing but niggas around. They'll be standing at the gas stations, standing at the liquor stores, asking and begging for money. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you just a few miles down from the richest county in America. One of the richest counties in America. Why don't you go down there? Your people got all the money. That's where all the millionaires, it's billionaires, um, just a few miles down from where we live at in a whole other county. The place where they call it Eight Mile. You see the movie with Eminem, but that that wall that they call Eight Mile, that you that you that street that they call Eight Mile, that used to be a wall to keep the blacks and the and the whites out, and, that, and, and, and I mean, or the blacks out of the white neighborhoods over there. And it's called Sundown Towns, and they used to have signs up that say, "If you're black," because we used to be able to go over there and work. It was a certain road that you can go in there and work, but other than that, it was a big ass wall. You can go in there, you can um, work, but they had a signs up. At the places, you know, the little paths that you can go off in there, they, it, the sign would say, if you are black and you're caught in here after the sun goes down, you forfeit your life. So Jake would go out there and work, get the work done, and it would be back over here before the sun went down. Because other than that, they were stringing your ass up and hanging you. So this man, I, I've seen them. They, they would literally be in our neighborhood when they're only a few miles away from the richest people in the world. Some of these people are some of the richest people in the world. Go down there and beg them. I bet you he know that he can't because he, those people are going to call the police. They don't want to see your trash ass. They don't want to see you. They're not going to roll down their window for you. They're not going to say, oh, honey, here, yo, you serve the military. They don't want to hear that shit. They ain't, they ain't trying to, they ain't about none of that. Esau don't care about his own people. So this is why I'm telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, stop it, man. Come away from this place because the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place. You don't want to be hand in hand with this place the scripture says though hand join in hand the wicked shall not go unpunished you can join hands with them all you want to and kumbaya you can martin luther king it y'all can get together on your pride month because you you can do all that shit the lord is not that's not going to stop the lord from punishing those people they're about to get the punishment man that they deserve and you can clearly see that they're falling because you never would have seen nothing like that 10 20 30 years ago few decades ago you wouldn't have seen no so-called white man at no damn soup truck and, 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 and you know amongst no so-called black people he would have had his own shit he'd have been at his own house you see he's probably this guy's probably some some dude dum, 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 got drugged up lost his wife lost his kids probably went somewhere and gambled off all the shit blew away his 401k and all that shit <laughs> now he's in the hood with jake Fussing about, can I go first? I need my food first. They don't like me. Get the hell out of here, man. And, and, and I'm surprised Jake and them didn't do something to him while he was standing there. And I can see why they probably, he shouldn't feel safe if he pulling shit like that. But anyway, with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.